Hello everyone, um, in this video we're going to learn how to use the LDR to make a very simple uh, light meter with the gamer. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to read the values of the LDR and then we're going to actually use those values to trigger an animation that kind of has a little sun that goes brighter or dimmer. The way we're going to do that is we're going to write a new sketch and you can find this sketch in uh, the gamer examples inside the library. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm, I have to include the gamer library as always. So I'm going to say hash include gamer.h. Uh, I have to name my gamer library. So gamer, I'm just going to call it gamer with a lowercase g. Um, then I need my setup and my loop. Uh, now in the setup, I do the usual thing where I say gamer.begin and that's going to kind of initiate all of the functions of the gamer. But I need to do an extra little step where I basically have to open up a connection between my computer and the gamer so that the gamer can send this value back to the computer. And I do that by saying serial.begin uh, 9600 and 9600 is the speed at which the serial runs. Um, after I've done that, what I'm going to start doing is I'm just going to say, I'm just going to print it out to just see what it does. So the way I do that is I say serial.println, so print ln, uh, and then gamer.ldr value. Open close bracket and then close bracket again. And then I'm just going to do a tiny delay because I don't need to run this at full speed. So a delay of 10 milliseconds should be fine. I'm going to compile it, see it's OK. I'm going to make sure that I've selected the right board, the right Arduino. I haven't, so there we go. OK, so I've done that. I'm going to hit upload. There we go. OK. So once your um, sketch is uploaded, you will see that the gamer doesn't actually do anything, and that's because we haven't told the screen to do anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the serial monitor. Once I open up the serial monitor, you'll see that I get this flow of numbers. And as I put my hand close to the LDR and take the, deprive it from light, the value goes up. So this is really interesting. You can see it goes from mine, and this is different in all gamers, just because of the, you know, the electrical connections, how much solder you put onto it. Um, mine goes from about 50 to about eh, maybe 600. So note down those numbers, note down your minimum and your maximum, because that will be important. I'm going to add some things onto my sketch, so I know my LDR works. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new variable at the top of my sketch called current frame, and that's going to basically store the current frame at which our animation is going to play. So I'm going to say int current frame, and then I'm just going to copy my animation, okay? So um, again, you can find this sun animation uh, on, the, on the examples. Uh, the example is called Animation Without the R. Um, and I actually used our animation maker to uh, make this animation. So you could use the same and do your own. Um, so once I've got that, I'm going to go down to the loop. And before I print my animation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate at which frame of the animation I will have to go. Okay? So I'm going to say um, current frame, which is the new variable I've created, is equal to map gamer dot LDR value. So basically, we're going to take the LDR value, and our LDR value goes roughly from um, mine goes roughly from 50 and to roughly maybe 800. I'm going to say 40 to be safe. And then I want it to go from 0, which is the first position of the animation, to num frames, which is actually a constant that is generated with the animation making software that we've created for you. And what this does, what this line of code does, is it basically converts the LDR value with some clever maths and division um, into so if it goes from 40 to 800, it will go from 0 to however many frames I have. 
okay? So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna say gamer.printImage and then I'm gonna say frames and this is exactly how you print any animation current frame okay so I'm gonna print the current frame and I can still run my serial it's no problem um, but I'm just gonna comment it out at the moment because I don't really need it let's upload that so there we go that was quick so um, here is the beginning of the animation and if I put my hand closer to the LDR you see how the animation progresses more and more and more as we cover the LDR so if I really try to cover it, there we go, that's the last bit of my animation. So it's, fra this is frame, frame 7, frame 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's how you create a light sensor. Thanks for watching.